Well, today I wanted to share with you what things we have not bought and ways we save money by not purchasing these items or going to these places. So this is a more extensive list than something I've done a couple years ago. It's just, um, we like to live frugally, my husband and I. We. We definitely live within our means. We don't believe in debt. We do have debt on our house, still a mortgage, but everything else we like to pay with cash. We make sure we have the money and we just find that really important and very freeing. So just little simple things, some big things just really seem to make a difference. I thought I would share this list with you and maybe you're, um, on the track to not having debt maybe you're on the track to thinking you should spend less especially with this economy right now like my goodness let's try to cut back if we can so here goes they're not in any particular order it was just what my brain was racking at the time so i'm just gonna keep on talking through my list here the first thing i thought of was individual snack packs or pouches Anything that my kids enjoy as food, I buy in bulk, like Greek yogurt, and then I divvy that out. If they like, um, we get certain crackers from Costco, like the sweet potato crackers. I will just hand those out. If we're traveling, I sometimes buy the snack packs, but we do not buy those just for them to go and grab out of a cupboard. We buy fruits, we buy veggies, we buy the whole big containers of the cottage cheese. I make my own applesauce. And so we do not buy those individual little fruit cups, snack cups, anything like that. And the ways of foods, drinks, we do not buy pop or alcohol. We are not a drinking family, my husband and I. We just have chosen that path for us. And so we do not have alcohol in the house unless it's vodka to make my homemade vanilla. But on the other end of that we just don't we don't have it in our house um we don't even provide it for when guests come we just have our own um water and milk and sometimes we buy sparkling waters like zevia um, or carbonated waters i make my own kombucha so there's some of the um, caffeinated drink there and we don't buy pop so my husband likes pop but i since like elementary school i have pretty much cut out pop i don't even like the taste of it anymore there's so much sugar in pop that it's like two days worth of your sugar content for what women are supposed to have so i'm like nope we're done with pop and so if we just don't have it in the house we don't drink it all right subscriptions to anything like um subscriptions to magazines subscriptions to food um places online, other online subscriptions that you can get for like watching shows. We do not get those. We are Prime members. That is the only thing we have a subscription to is Amazon Prime. But we use the whole gambit of Prime. We'll watch the shows. We um, like to just shop Prime quite often. So we live in a smaller town. So it's nice to not always have to go to a big city just to get our products. So we do have Amazon Prime, but we don't get any other subscriptions to anything else. All right, new books. We get kids' books used. We get them, ask for them for gifts. We go to the library and check out books. I will go to the thrift store often if we're looking for books and my husband and I will look for books there. I'll find my kids books there. But honestly, like the library is a great place. We often have a book sale at our library. So right now it's like 50 cents for a book. And so why not buy books there when they're having that sale or just check them out, like I said. All right, so toys. Toys are a big thing. We honestly don't buy new toys for our kids. Um, we get Christmas gifts, we get birthday gifts. We just make lists of what we think they would like and grandparents, aunts and uncles, they will buy the gifts. They will get them for our girls and toys just really pile up. New toys, I was looking on Amazon the other day. It's just crazy how much new toys can cost. Um, I was doing a little Christmas shopping for nieces and so that was just kind of blowing my mind. So I might even buy Christmas gifts secondhand. 
That could be an, another one too, buy secondhand gifts. I didn't put that on my list, but we don't often buy new gifts unless it's needed that way too. So we just get toys for our kids for birthdays and Christmas. All right, back to the food. Prepackaged like cookies, bags of chips, prepackaged meals, things of that nature. We do not buy Oreos. We don't buy like Chips Ahoy cookies. The only chips we get are, are tortilla chips for the um, Mexican nights that we have. And we don't buy individual prepackaged meals. I like to cook from scratch and that's how I like to serve my family. So nothing really overly prepackaged. It's just crazy again how much those prepackaged things can cost looking at like a prepackaged cookie container Oreos are ridiculously expensive so I just don't buy them I would rather make homemade cookies for my family if that's what we're gonna do back to the pre um, packaged or pre-cut we don't buy pre-cut fruits and veggies that is um, something I just find to be a waste of money honestly buy a pineapple and cut it buy your watermelon and cut it. I have never, even if I felt like I was in a pinch, I have never ever bought a prepackaged container of anything like that. They often too, they go bad faster because who knows how long they've been sitting on the grocery store shelf, especially in our small town little grocery store. They could have been sitting on the shelf for a couple days so then that pineapple will go bad or the veggies will have already started turning. So I just cut it fresh myself. All right, this is something I've really switched to is using one cleaner for pretty much every surface. And that is my multi-purpose water, vinegar, lemon essential oil. And I used to have a cleaner for, well, I do have like barkeeper's friend. Don't get me wrong there, but that's another just little cleaner in the stain remover. But for surfaces, that all-purpose cleaner just does a wonderful job. I don't need a countertop cleaner, a floor cleaner, a table cleaner, a stove cleaner, a bathroom cleaner. Like there's just so many different cleaners you can get and that will rack up as well. So an all-purpose cleaner that you can DIY so easily. All right, here's a couple things we do not go to. We do not do um, takeout or drive through. So like I said, we live in a small town so that helps. We only have one restaurant here, but 45 minutes away we have a gambit of restaurants. We will eat out for dates and every once in a while, but we do not just feel like on a whim we're going to go um, call in to get some pizza delivered to us or we're going to go get some Thai or some Chinese and we don't go through fast food drive through So that's just a thing we have never really done. Um, I like cooking from scratch, like I said, and I never really feel good <laughs> eating fast food anyway. So I just cut that out for us in that line. We don't do a lot of coffee shops to treat ourselves on a date or once in a while when we're traveling, we will do coffee shops, but we invest in our coffee by having an espresso machine ourselves so I can make my own lattes and cappuccinos and espressos. And so I feel like I do a better job and I like my coffee anyways. So why go to a coffee shop and get a $9 or whatever coffee it is or $5? I feel like sometimes the drip coffees are even getting too expensive right now. So that is what we don't go to. We also don't go to movie theaters. So we have a small town movie theater and what a blessing. It's only $5 for an adult, which is super cheap, but we still don't end up even going because it's just, you know, finding a babysitter. Um, most movies I don't want my girls to see anyways, cause they're three and one. So I don't take them, but it's just a lot of money to go to a movie. I was listening to Rachel Cruz one time on her podcast and she said it could be anywhere from like 11 to $20 per movie theater ticket. And that just blew my mind knowing that I haven't gone to a movie theater in years, probably since um, pre-kids for sure. So that can rack up if you go to a movie theater. You can often find things on Amazon Prime, like I said. You can find things sometimes on YouTube. Um, so there's just lots of different ways to get that um, movie fix if you want it. All right, just some random things again. I don't use shaving cream. I just use conditioner, but I don't even use conditioner in my hair. I'm just using the conditioner that I have for guests. 
So that is what I also cut out. My husband does use shaving cream on his face, so every once in a while, if I feel like I need it, I'll use his natural shaving cream that I bought him. So I also, in the beauty department, I don't use different night creams or day creams. I just use coconut oil with frankincense in it. That's my moisturizer for night and morning. I know as I get older, I may feel like I need to use more treatment on my face, but that is currently what I am using. And you know what? Aging is beautiful, and so I'm going to hopefully embrace it. I want to take care of my body. Don't get me wrong there. But I just use the coconut oil and frankincense mixture, and that is my moisturizer. I also don't buy nail polish. So I have decluttered nail polishes for years now. I don't even paint my nails. Um, I just don't really like how they end up looking within a day, and I don't like what's in nail polish. So I have three different colors for the chance that in the summer I need to paint my toenails. But I don't even really paint my toenails either. I just let the natural look happen. And being an avid gardener in the summer, my nails get gross and dirty. I clean them, but I don't need to paint them. I don't buy seasonal scented candles or wax melts. I have invested in diffusing. I use Young Living essential oils and I just invest in those. I like the smells of those in my home. The fake scented candles bother me a bit. Wax melts seem unsafe with little kids if you plug them into like the outlet ones. So I just don't buy any of those seasonal scents and essential oils to diffuse last so long. It's months and months. I often buy like Christmassy ones, like a cinnamon bark, a clove, a ginger, and those have lasted me a year or two or more. So they just are more of an investment, yes, but they do seem to last longer. Also on that note, I guess I should say I make my own beeswax candles. So I do diff burn candles, I just don't buy the ones from Bath and Body Works or um, White Barn Candle Company, whatever that is. We do not buy the new trendy clothes. Uh, if you've watched me for a while, I am a huge thrifter. Everything in our house is pretty much secondhand unless it was gifted or unless it was like a necessity to get at that time. But clothing for us, I, I just kind of stick to what I like. My girls get hand-me-downs from older nieces. We are very fortunate with having that. Um, we just find secondhand clothes for my husband. And often for Christmas, we'll ask for clothes if we want it new. And that's when we get our new clothes. So we don't buy new trendy clothes. I know it changes all the time. I'm really not into fashion that much. So to me, I'm okay not having the trend of what is current right now. And so it'll change by springtime anyways. So I might as well just stick to what I like and what works for our family. All right, something very simple is baby and kid shampoo and body wash. I have DIY'd my own since my three and a half year old was born. And so I just use cast style soap, some water, some ingredients that I'll use for other DIY things I do. And that helps in cutting back the continually buying of a new soap because I do like to use natural soaps. They are a little more expensive. So why not DIY my own and use that on my girls? All right, new jewelry and accessories. So I do wear earrings. I do wear necklaces every once in a while. I used to sell jewelry in college, so I have a plethora of jewelry. I'm still trying to even get rid of some I have so much, so I just don't buy it. And as you get more kids, they pull on them. Um, I do like, like I said, I like wearing earrings, and I do like wearing like simple necklaces, especially to church. I'll wear maybe a bigger necklace, um, a watch every once in a while, but I do not, I did not ever ask my husband to upgrade my wedding band or ring. I don't need the new diamond little earrings for an anniversary, so I just don't buy new accessories or jewelry. So that also includes purses. I think I've had the same purse since college, so eight, nine years ago. And yes, it is time to upgrade that though, however, so that's on my Christmas list. I just used to have these diaper bags now too for quite a while, having little ones. So just no new accessories for me. Right, music or movie downloads. Like I was talking about, like the movie theater, that's expensive. I also think it's expensive to just continually buy new songs, download new movies every, if you watched one every weekend, download a new songs you'll like. 
that can just rack up with a cost as well. So I just use Pandora. Yes, it has ads for music and I love listening to music with my girls. Um, we always have like some Christian music going on. Right now I have Christmas music playing and then sometimes I'll just have like my classical or my jazz and so I just use Pandora or you can use Spotify or um, Amazon Music and it's just cheaper that way than downloading regularly. On the electronic note, we do not get new phones or new electronics when those upgrades come. So we got new phones uh, three and a half years ago and we purchased them refurbished from Amazon and then just took them into our, um, cell, our cell phone store to get them activated. And my goodness, did that cut on costs. So I think I have like an iPhone SX or something like that. I don't even know. I didn't even realize the 14 was coming out. So I'm not up to date on the new and trendy phones. I never get the new ones. Um, that come out and like I said, it's been at least three three and a half years since we've got a different phone Before then we had flip phones So I just try to take care of my phone and it works well with what I need it for and TVs I think we got our TV here. It sits right here in I don't know for Black Friday. I think pre kids again. So I think it was five or six years ago We barely watch it maybe for a date night in or something like that or if my kids want to watch a show that I stream on line from a Chromecast. So just super simple um, to maintain your electronics and keep that big expense down. All right, birthdays are special desserts or cakes. I make my own birthday cakes for my kids, for my husband, um, for Christmas parties. If we have people over, I'll make my own desserts. That can be something that can be more time consuming, but I just love making treats and desserts for people anyways. So I don't go out to Costco or Sam's or order a specialty cake or cupcakes for our family. All right, this one's kind of on my husband. We don't get um, oil changes from our body shop, auto body shop. So my husband has learned how to take care of that along with like light bulb changes in the vehicle. Simple car maintenance things. If your husband or you can learn to do that, what a great savings. Currently, right now, it is like 40 to $50 to get an oil change at our personal mechanic friend that we have. But my husband thought, why not do it himself? It takes half an hour. And those simple little things that you can change or fix on your vehicle can really rack up if you have to take it in. Speaking of vehicles, we do not buy new vehicles and we don't take out loans to get vehicles. Our vehicle is three and a half years old. It is like an SUV family vehicle. We bought it used with cash and it has gotten us through really well. So I don't think there's anything wrong with use. It's like a 2009, so not even very new, but if it gets you from place to place, that is what a vehicle is for. I don't think it needs to have the DVD player, the backup cameras, you know, the Bluetooth, all those things are wonderful but this vehicle works fine for what we need it for. All right, kitchen appliances for every different need. We don't have the extra rice cookers or the pizza oven or the toaster oven or the air fryer. So we have the basic. I do have an instant pot, but I use that as a slow cooker. And I love my instant pot because I use it at least two or three times a week. There's other little things we do have, like a KitchenAid mixer, but if I'm using them multiple times a week, it is definitely worth it. I don't, I just don't see myself ever needing all these extra things to clutter my counters, clutter my budget, and just create, I feel like, havoc for my kitchen too. On the kitchen note, kitchen gadgets for every little item. I just, I'll use a knife to cut something or I'll use a knife to stir peanut butter instead of my husband was telling me about this peanut butter stirrer you could buy that gets it stirred in well from the bottom if you buy natural peanut butter. Why not just use my knife, take a few extra minutes and stir it. Or all these little like avocado savers, tomato savers, whatever else you need. But just stick to the basic, make things work with what you got. All right, with more makeup products, back to that. I don't buy a lot of makeup products. I am a very basic makeup user. 
I do eyes, I do like a blemish cover, and sometimes I will use cover up. I bear or I will use a foundation, sorry. I barely ever use foundation. I just haven't found a good natural foundation that I have liked yet. And I I'm okay not having foundation on my face. So my daily makeup is um um, eyeliner and they're all in my Amazon favorites down below if you're interested in finding some of these it's a Burt's Bees eyeliner um, I do use a brow pencil I use some mascara and maybe a little eyeshadow and then I use some Young Living cover-up for any blemishes that is pretty much my daily makeup so I'm not one for every little thing that you might need for contouring I mean it looks beautiful on people don't get me wrong and if you love doing that that's all fine for you. But for me, I just really like it very simple and a little more natural looking. We don't go on expensive dates out. So oftentimes, we will go up to our local city 45 minutes away, drop our girls off at grandparents. We are very fortunate to have them about 45 minutes away. They don't live in our town. We will go on dates where we get to go to a park or we get to do some outdoor activities or where we will just sit at a coffee shop and talk. Yes, we're spending a little money on coffee shop. We will use coupons or gift cards. So we just try to keep it very budget friendly on our expenses with our dates. And we go on dates once a month for sure. We just try to make that a priority. So it's not like we don't go on dates. We really make that important for us, but we just try to keep it very minimal on the expenses. All right, we also do not do salon hair dyes or hair treatments. And I have talked to my sisters who used to dye their hair. It would be like $120 to get a salon hair dye. I have never colored my hair ever, so I will be going gray probably sooner than later. It's just in my family. But I don't do hair treatments. I don't even buy them over the counter at Walmart or anything like that. I just... I just try to avoid that. I do get my hair cut at our local salon. Um, I can tell you the price that she is. Some of you might be blown away by how cheap she is. She is $20 for a haircut. When I got my hair cut, like eight inches, it was $20. So blessing to live in a small town. Um, but my husband went and got his hair cut too. It was also $20, $22, something like that. I do not cut my husband's hair, however, because he is a little particular on what he wants and I'm a little nervous to do that. So we do pay for the haircuts. Our girls have never had haircuts yet. They haven't needed it. But just with the hair treatments, we do avoid that. So that is my list, friends. And I know there are a lot more things that I sure could probably think of. Like I said, we don't buy new furniture. We always get second hand. I just don't feel like I need to buy new with my home. It's just, I love having the collected, well-loved look. So I just wanna encourage you today, if you are needing to cut expenses, you would like to get it out of debt, to, um, like Dave Ramsey says, live like no one else so you can give like no one else in the future when you're debt free. Now, it can be challenging. We um, got out of our debt in nine months and it was a lot of work, but I encourage you to just live within your means, buy things when you have the money instead of putting it on cards or on um, getting loans, things like that. And just these simple ways hopefully encouraged you to find ways to cut those expenses, especially like I said, in the rising costs that we currently have. So I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in the next one. Bye.